This is a customer network in Leh, Papua New Guinea. This is kind of typical for a Pacific Island customer who has a branch outside of Port Moresby with two ISP MPLS circuits, one from Digicel and another from Telecom. The branch has approximately 30 users. There's a two meg Digicel circuit that is being used as the primary circuit. And then there is a one meg backup circuit from Telecom PNG. On any given business day, all customer traffic traverses the Digicel circuit until there's a failure and then it fails over to the one meg telecom circuit. For this customer, we observed two critical issues. Two meg of bandwidth for 30 users did not cut it. The links were constantly saturated and maxed out. Secondly, the failover to the telecom circuit was a hit and miss. They did not have the right technology in place for an automatic failover. We analyzed and studied the branch performance and overall utilization of this primary circuit, we noticed that these 30 users were overutilizing these circuits between Lay and Port Moresby. When the primary failed, the backup circuit had no chance to carry all that user traffic down to Port Moresby. Our first recommendation for the customer was to improve and increase bandwidth as there is no substitution for a lack of bandwidth. So we increased the Digicel circuit to 6 meg and the Telecom circuit to 4 meg. Secondly, we introduced an overlay technology such as SD-WAN to aggregate both circuits and make use of 10 meg worth of bandwidth. Even with 10 meg of bandwidth, these 30 users were constantly overutilizing these circuits. But now we had the right technology in place to do deep packet level investigations to understand the traffic flows within the branch. We were now able to understand what traffic was critical for the business and what was not. Based on this, we were able to apply granular traffic steering policies to prioritize that most critical traffic. For this customer, we were able to maximize their throughput and aggregate all available bandwidth and give them their money's worth by utilizing all available circuits. As a byproduct of the secure overlay technology, the customer now has a secure encrypted network from branch to head end.